It came to pass that one year ago, June 19, 2021, an extraordinary redemption was committed. It was a day that we live in infamy because it was an extraordinary abomination. It was a legal wrong. It was a political wrong and it must be undone. Stop the persecution and free Mazen and the Kano. This is coming from Barrister Aloy Ejimako, one of the IPOB leader's lawyer. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it's one year today. Where are the Southeasterners, their leaders? Where are they? How many of them is still talking about Mazen and the Kano release? What is the federal government doing so that Namde Kano will be released? And let's ask ourselves this question. Is Mazen Namde Kano the problem of Nigeria? Is Namde Kano Nigeria's problems? Because so many Nigerians, they think Namde Kano is the problem, you know, of the country. Just because he asks for freedom. For goodness sake. They say something, they caught something. Before he started his agitations, he did not just start said it because he wants to maybe cause problems in the country. What pushed him to agitate? What is the root of the agitations? Because I always, I always ask these questions. The government is not looking into the root of agitations. The Southeast leaders care less about this man. Because they feel that they are comfortable with their little space. So every other person is called to hell. The Nigerian government actually committed abomination. Mazen Namdekano was not brought to Nigeria in the due process. He was adopted from Kenya. Till now, till tomorrow, Kenya government is still denying that Mazen Namdekano was arrested in their country. But Nigerian government still uh, keep on telling us he was, you know, arrested in Kenya. So how did Namdekano get to Nigeria? Now talking about the the UK government, the United Kingdom. Namdekano is a citizen. What are they doing? Most Nigerians will say. The, the UK government, they are doing this, they are doing that. They are not doing anything. Don't be deceived. These people, their hands are not clean. Their hands are in this. They will not tell us that they are not aware of what happened to Mazen and Mikano. It's not possible. Then why be silent? Because Namdekano is a citizen. Why be silent? Honestly speaking, those who feel that Mazen Namdekano is a threat to Nigeria, those who feel that Mazen Namdekano, you know, is a problem, time will come. They will come to understand what this young man is saying. They will come to understand what this young man is saying. Three days ago, in Data State, in one place called Ubiaruko, it was funny that this was not televised in the media. No media uh, outlet carried it. Fulani heads men were going from house to house to kill people in Obiaroko, in Delta State. No news outlets carried it. These people have staged themselves in the bushes, waiting for signal. They will pick up. Nigerians will know when the time comes. Mazen Namdekano was the only lonely voice in the wilderness talking, talking. But we do not want to take him seriously. Everything he has said is coming to pass. But let's see and watch. Look at what is going on in the southeast today. Southeast is one of those peaceful regions we know. But today, Southeast have turned upside down. What is going on? Their, their leaders are not even concerned about it. Everybody is jumping how to get tickets for uh, 
APC PDP for 2023 general elections. Where is Marazin Nandekano? Igbo leaders, where is Marazin Nandekano? Trust me, if this man were to be in Nortana, by now, this matter for Don Clothes, release him. Even in the Nigerian constitution, agitation is not wrong. But the way the federal government took the issue of agitation escalated everything. They still tried that in the Northwest and all that. When will we have free speech, freedom of speech? When? When are we actually practicing democracy in Nigeria? Are we actually doing that? That when you try to do correction or when you try to speak, you know, you see them coming after you like a bulldog. This is really very, very unfair. People from other regions in Nigeria don't even realize that he is fighting for in Nigeria. We are not in us. We have the freedom to rule and develop themselves. The, the Westerners, we have the freedom to rule themselves. And the Southeasterners, we also have the freedom to rule and develop themselves. Don't you want to be free in your own land and free from in Nigeria? Shackles that was formed in 1914, which is more than 100 years of suffering. War, ethnic killings, corruption, and disunity in the pretense of one Nigeria. Are we actually practicing one Nigeria? Ask yourself this. Namdi Kano should be freed. He committed no, no offense. Nigerian government took it this to this height. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye.